This thing is unbelievable. Ed, this is a really special car to me. This was a car commissioned by the late Paul Andrews. Mm -hmm. It is obviously Aston Martin inspired. It is powered by an Aston Martin DB4 GT engine. And everything about this echoes the classic coach-built sports cars of the 50s and 60s. And Steve Mole, who I think is the world's premier coach builder of this kind of stuff, this. literally built this out of a vision. And as a designer, you instantly see that it is inspired by Aston Martin, but there are so many yeah. elements. This thing is unbelievable. It is just magnificent. I mean, I'm glad you talked for a while because I couldn't speak. I was just so, so overwhelmed. It just is so beautiful. The way the surfaces roll, the way, you know, a, a surface converges and then it opens up and it just is spectacular. Even the shape, you know, how, how a clear piece of glass right. can be beautiful. I mean, without any surround is just magnificent. What I think is amazing is you look at these stiffeners on the windscreen, yes. and they are so delicate, yes. but so functional. Yes, but yet, you know, the thickness of them, I mean, they're quite strong. They're delicate because, I mean, it's just, he did a great job. They're very thin when you look at it from this direction, but it's actually quite thick and it's got a lot of strength to it. It's, it's interior is incredible, I love it. You know, you're a color guy. The black over green, I think, is really an iconic yes, combination. Yes, yes. And how different is this design with black wheels instead of the traditional gray steel painted one? It looks I think way more sharp. It does. Yeah. I think in yeah, this case, absolutely. I really like the black wheels because a silver wheel would interrupt your eye. With the black wheels, it just blends the wheels in with the overall body shape. And this whole car, you know, as I talk about it, I keep gesturing my arms like this. It's all about this flow of shape. The black wheels support that. This front end, if, it's, it's Aston Martin. I mean, it is Aston Martin, isn't it? Yes. I mean, if you didn't know what yeah. it was, you would instantly yeah. Yeah, you don't need understand you don't need where badge. it came from. Yeah, it's just, wow. and, and what about the fact, Ed, that they you know, were free to make this a larger car than the original DB4? Well, the way they they manage the size of it, it doesn't look larger. It just has this great presence about it. Boy, by the way, I just love these small lights down here and the way the surface is, right. is created around it. It's just very cool. The whole body shape, and then they kind of just kind of sit out there. You know, one of the interesting things about this car for me is just like on the 63 Corvette we were looking, this is a little more pronounced, but yeah. this center spine, spine, what does that do to the overall design? Well, it gives more attention to it. It, it contributes to the whole shape that I keep talking about. And uh, yeah, otherwise it would be a little dull back there. I, it was the right thing to do. And then this is a bit of a surprise. It's a bit of a, a return back here. Does that just break up that surface area and make it a little more dramatic? I mean, does it have any other function in terms of the design? Well, it certainly has a function from an aero perspective, but, and I think it separates it from so many other cars that would have just taken it and rounded it off. It really does make this car unique. I mean, and the interior to me really screams classic, classic British Roadster. It does, it's actually surprisingly large, the interior. I mean, wide, you know, it's just, I don't know, very cool. I mean, and I, 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 and love, I love the And I love the crinkle black. Yep. You know, that's, it's just so, it just makes you smile. It was such a big deal at a, at a certain point in time. Well, Ed, I, how come you don't see dark green interiors anymore? You see it a bit, not much. Um, because it's such a, 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 an iconic color combination. It is, but especially you know, with black. apparently, you know, customers aren't that drawn to it, but I absolutely love it. I mean, th there's so much black in that green, you know, and the way it works here. And this whole cover, you know, the transmission cover here is beautiful. Well, the heart of this beautiful, car is straight DB4 GT Aston Martin. 
and you know it is really kind of a modern interpretation of, of where they could have gone next with a DB3 or I, a DBR1. I love DBR1. the idea of doing a modern interpretation of a great car. I just love that notion. I, I sketch them all the time. Uh, this one is, is so cool. Well, so cool. I think Steve Mole knocks it out of the park with this, yeah. and I think the A&M really is going to be on the lawn in Pebble Beach, as we were talking about 30 years from now. Uh, uh. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. Yeah, it is. And it would be one of those cards that would be on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs>